Parliament has reconvened from recess following the President returning the Appropriations Bill 2024 on 27th June 2024 for reconsideration. The Speaker of Parliament, Anita Anita Mong, told members of Parliament that the return of the bill was within the 30 days as enshrined in the Constitution. She read to the House the letter from the President, which was addressed to her, where the President says, for the last four years... MPs have reallocated funds worth 3.7 trillion shillings, emphasizing that it is real sabotage. This is a real sabotage. When we reconstructed Kampala Massacre Road, we used Uganda shillings 440 billion. Therefore, diverting the 3.1 trillion in four years is equivalent to aborting nine big roads of the Kampala massacre type or a much larger number of smaller roads. The president went ahead to say he has written about this issue since 2020 and the attorney general guided on it, but the practice continues. There are three mistakes involved here. These are indiscipline in budgeting, sabotaging the national priorities and now the suspicious the suspicion of massive corruption i am therefore writing to request that this practice stops According to the rules of procedure of Parliament, the returned bill has to be referred to the Budget Committee, which is now not constituted. The government chief whip, Hamson Obua, read another provision of the rules that indicate the scope in the definition of the committee is wider, moving a point of procedure to constitute in the committee of the whole house. However, the Budget Committee is not yet fully constituted because not all sectoral committees have their leadership in place. A select committee, right honorable speaker, would need be procedurally right for you to invoke your powers, and this house constitutes itself into a committee of the whole house under rule two of the rules of procedure of this parliament. A Rute County MP, Odu Jonathan, raised an allegation of a letter mentioning that all members of the Budget Committee are corrupt. It is a very serious allegation of grave corruption against the Budget Committee. And the, 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 the wording of that letter by the President that specifically mentions allegations of corruption and he's not doing it for the first time. Right on the Speaker, we have lost trust in the Budget Committee. I disagree with the my Minister for Justice, that the whole of the Budget Committee is the actual accused of corruption. We cannot say that our members are corrupt. Some members submitted for the House to sit and take a decision on matters raised by the President. Despite some MPs wanting to proceed, Woman Member of Parliament, Butambala Aisha Kabanda, insisted that the President's letter blames corruption on the whole House, that they need to first get a legal interpretation of their mandate. I even doubt whether at this time we have the moral authority to discuss what the President sent back to us after he has accused us, all of us, of being corrupt. Appreciate that the president respects this house. That's why he sent back this bill for reconsideration. Federal Research Kubo MP Remiaga proposed to first interrogate who did the reallocations of 3.7 trillion shillings. As parliament will look bad, who caused this? We want to know. Don't blame all of us to this. Who caused all this? Some MPs were concerned whether the president had issued a warrant to get funds from the consolidated funds as stipulated in the law since it is a new financial year. We do not have an uh, appropriation act in the operation. Whether he has already written or rather issued a warrant, 
to issue funds from the consolidated fund until the expiry of four months. I can state with no fear of contradiction that the President has not issued a warrant under Article 154.4 of the Constitution. The President has chosen to take the path of coming back to the House. As you move the motion, can you guarantee to this House that you are now moving <laughs> after consulting the Executive and what you are going to speak here represents the position of the executive. The motion which the Minister of Finance is going to present is a motion that is coming to this House in full view of the knowledge and also the satisfaction of His Excellency the President. Thank After this debate, the Minister for Finance, Matia Kosaija, was given the floor to move a motion to reconsider the appropriations bill of 34 trillion shillings. I'm Navka Farida and Gloria Guitabinji at Parliament.